The latest AD0E327 exam questions cover all the exam objectives and increase your chances of passing Adobe Campaign Classic Business Practitioner exam on the first attempt. 1. An Adobe Campaign Business Practitioner is extracting data using a data extraction activity of a workflow. What step should be taken to filter the final result of the aggregate for customers who have ordered more than 10 times? A. Handle groupings, group by plus having. B. Handle groupings, combine plus dedupe. C. Handle groupings, union plus select. 2. What happens when there are multiple reviewers assigned to a delivery approval job? A. The approval job is complete once a reviewer has responded. B. Once all reviewers have responded, the approval job is completed by the campaign manager. C. The approval job is complete when all reviewers have responded. D. Once a reviewer has responded, the approval job is completed by the campaign manager. 3. An Adobe Campaign Business Practitioner is working on a new product launch and wants to launch similar marketing campaigns over a period of six months targeting all the existing customers. The business practitioner has used the existing campaign template for the new campaign but certain jobs for the campaigns like control groups, approvals, and seed address, are not seen in the template. Where can the practitioner find the correct settings in the template to resolve this issue? A. Control population option in advanced campaign settings. B. Configuration option in advanced campaign settings. C. Job Execution Option in Advanced Campaign Settings 4. A workflow was returning unexpected results. The operator used the pause functionality to put the workflow into a paused state to examine these results. They never cleared the pause state. What two impacts will this have on the overall campaign instance? Choose 2. A. It will increase the size of the database. B. It will make the workflow more efficient next time. C. It will stop further iterations of the workflow from running. D. It will leave any temporary tables in place. E. It will lock the workflow until it is restarted. 5. A new sample file is needed for a data loading process with a new layout. A business practitioner has clicked, Auto Detect Format. What step should the business practitioner take? A. Create a new data loading process and leave the original intact for future use. B. Verify the file format, specifically date formats that need to be set correctly. C. Load a file from the local machine to test the format. D. Move forward. Auto detect formats the file properly. 6. A business practitioner is creating a workflow with a querying population of 100 records. At the end of the workflow, the email delivery has a success status of 98. When the business practitioner checks the delivery logs, there are 110 successfully delivered emails. What is a reason for 110 successfully delivered emails? A. The typology rules have not been applied correctly, therefore more people are contacted. B. The delivery contacted the querying population of the delivery more than once. C. The delivery logs are counting the email deliveries plus the proof deliveries. D. 
The delivery logs are counting the email deliveries plus the seed addresses. 7. The data analytics team confirms that a CSV file of high-intent customers has been extracted from the enterprise data warehouse and placed on the Adobe SFTP server ready for use in a trial campaign. The workflow consists of a file collector, data loading activity, and an enrichment to reconcile customers using recipient IDs. A business practitioner runs the workflow and an error occurs during the enrichment activity. What could be causing the error? A. The sequence of activities is incorrect and requires attention. B. The data loading activity has not been configured to format the recipient ID field in the file. C. The data loading activity has not been configured with a representative sample file. D. The recipient IDs in the file do not exist in the target schema. 8. A business practitioner wants to give one of the team members access to all predefined filters, dashboards, and web application, regardless of users' rights to folders. This must include read, write, and delete data. What is the right way to give access? A. By selecting Propagate option. B. By selecting Access Rights explicitly. C. By selecting System Folder. D. By selecting the operators to the authorization field. 9. Which functionality enables a business practitioner to display different variations of content to the recipients of the email delivery according to a predefined condition configured in the expression editor? A. Content blocks B. Dynamic content C. Visibility condition 10. An Adobe campaign developer wants to build an input form and observed one form is already created with same schema, customer, and namespace, cuss. How should the developer build another form using the same schema and namespace? A. Create a new input form as name equals, customer, namespace equals, nms. B. Set the entity schema equals cus customer C set the entity form equals cus customer D create a new input form as name equals customer namespace equals cus